Hey, Bob Wilson, Lean Team, welcome back. We're uh, talking about Lean Shorts, topic number five. So maybe we'll have a contest to uh, name the little guy here. Maybe you can post a uh, post a thought on that. Uh, you like that? I don't know about those uh, horizontal stripes there though. Does that uh, those make me look fat? Hmm. All right, we'll think about that. Um, so. We're, Climbing up the charts here, we're looking at our six lean principles. Uh, we're up to number five. So we've already talked about customer centricity. Uh, we've talked about flow, tact, pull, and now we're talking about perfection. Okay, so think of it like a test. When you study for a test, well, other than that one class, um, do you study for a C? You study for an A. You want to get 100%. Now, does that mean you always get it? No, not necessarily. Uh, but that's the goal. That's what you're focusing on. So this idea of perfection, uh, let me get the, get the drawing done here real quick for you. And so when we look at this, this idea of, of perfection, okay? So we're looking at a little chart here. And we've got upper and lower control limits. And then obviously wherever the, the data points fall along on the chart, right? So when we look at perfection, we want to look at two aspects. First, we want to look at uh, the process. How do we get there? And then the output, OK? So when we look at uh, this idea of perfection, one of the first things we want to look at is we look at those control limits. Where do those come from? Obviously, if something falls in here, we're saying that that's good. If it falls out here, we're saying then that, that that's not good. Okay, so you can make the argument that if it falls within those control limits, it it is what you want. Well, who determines those control limits? Well, nine out of ten times, you talk about it's the customer. Okay, customer defines almost everything that we do. Okay, because without them, we're not in business. So, uh, and this idea of, of perfection, one, it gets back to that same question of our very first principle, customer centricity. What is it the customer is looking for? Let's define that. Um, and, and you'll see that in a lot of places, depending on where in the process, the level of maturity that they're looking for uh, is going to change the expectation from your customer. Uh, or maybe by region, by demographic, wh whatever that is, your your the what determines what perfection is can change. So this idea of your customer defines that. We need to first understand you know who the customer is, what they're looking for. So so that's going to define for us what perfection is, so that we can shoot for that. Um, are we going to hit it? Yeah, you know, hopefully we will. But if not then we're, we're going to work towards that. But the first thing we got to do is understand it. So in terms of when we talk about perfection, uh, we want to look at it in terms of the process uh, and the output. So in terms of the output, that thing that we're handing off to the customer, we want that to meet their expectation. Um, you know, and when we talk about that meeting their expectation, we got what's called the five R's that we look at. Uh, you know, is it the is it the right value that we're providing to them? Is it the right, uh, you know, the right quality, the right quantity, the right timing, at the right price? So you know, we want to meet those those conditions and understand the, what those are in order to meet them. Okay. Now the other aspect is the process. Now that is, how did we get there? You know, was it a fluke? Was it by accident? Is it repeatable? So in product development, uh, in manufacturing, in service, you know, are they going to get the same experience, the same thing every time? Uh, so that's that repeatability and reproducibility of, of our process. So we want to look at both of those aspects. Um, so if you want to talk more about that uh, and understanding, you know, this idea of perfection and talk about any of the other principles, uh, give me a call, Bob Wilson, AMD. Uh, email me, contact the team. Happy to work with you. And one more to go. Thank you very much.